Hey guys, it's Texas Coin Hunter, and the, today we are doing a nickel hunt. Uh, I've got two boxes. They are circulated. We're going to go through them and uh, see if we can get lucky, find any um, more nickels, any buffaloes, maybe even get a V-nickel if we're lucky. Um, I'll bring you back as soon as we find anything. Okay guys, our first find of the box is 1941 Philadelphia okay guys I had just turned this over and it was really green and just took a look and that says 1945 that's a war nickel it is a San Francisco it's our second find of the box let's keep looking Okay, guys, this is roll four, and we found ourselves a 1948 Denver. Let's keep looking. Guys, this is the same roll, and that is another war nickel. That's another 1945. And that one is a Philadelphia. It's really worn. But it is a 45 Philadelphia. It's our second war nickel of the box. Uh, the fourth uh, find in the fourth roll. Let's keep looking. Okay, guys, roll six. And we found our first nickel from the 50s. This is a 1956 Philadelphia. Let's keep looking. Okay, roll 11. And we got ourselves a 1954. Looks like a San Francisco. That is our sixth uh, find. Let's keep looking. Okay, guys, this is roll 14, and we got ourselves 1941. Denver. Let's keep looking. Okay, same roll. We got 1959. Denver. Okay, I didn't see this at first, but that is another worn nickel. That's a 1943 Philadelphia. That's our third worn nickel of the box. That's huge. Let's keep looking. The same roll, a couple coins later. That is a 1952. Philadelphia. Let's keep looking. The same roll, still, found in 1953. Philadelphia. Let's keep looking. Okay, I had got really excited, guys. This was on the end, facing out this way. I saw it was in 1942. I didn't know. It is not a silver. So it's a regular 1942 Philadelphia. Let's keep looking. Okay, guys, this is roll 26. And we got ourselves a 1954. And it looks like a Denver. I'll bring you back. Okay, same roll. This is, looks like our oldest nickel so far. This is a 1940 Philadelphia. 24 rolls left. Let's keep going. Okay, guys. Next roll. This is a 1956 Denver. Let's keep going. Okay, guys. This is roll 28. And we have back-to-back -back finds. And they are both 1940s. This one's a Denver. And this one's a Philadelphia. 22 rolls left. I'll bring you back. Okay, this is roll 33. And we got ourselves a 1954 Denver. 17 rolls left. Let's keep going. Okay, this is roll 39. And this is a 1959 Denver. 
11 rolls to go. See if we can get lucky, find some more silver, maybe a buffalo. We'll be back. Okay, this is the same roll to 1954 Philadelphia. Let's keep going. Okay, this is roll 40. And we have a 1953. And that is a San Francisco. Ten rolls to go. I'll bring you back. Okay, we're back, and this is what we ended up with. We ended up with three 1940s, two 41s, a 42 non-silver, um, a 48, a 52, two 53s, four 54s, a 56, a 58, two 59s, and then... A 43 war nickel and two 45 war nickels, uh, so three silver nickels, total 21 finds in the box. And on top of that, I found this 1973, and I believe it's full steps. Uh, I'm put it, I put it under the scope. I'm going to bring you over to the scope and show you, and you be the judge. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, and this is the one area that's a little weak. It may end up not being full steps, but either way, to find a 49-year-old coin in a bankroll that looks like that, with that type of steps, that's definitely going in my book. Um... So yeah, all in all, I thought it was a really great hunt. Um, hope you liked what you saw. Hit like, uh, please hit like, uh, please subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Again, smash that like button because uh, that will help the algorithms as we get more people uh, signed up with us. Um, I was going to do a two-box knuckle hunt, but we're going to just break it down into two different hunts. So... Next time you see me, we'll have that second nickel box going. Until then, thank you guys, and have a good night. Bye-bye.